Hi there. This is David Hildren with TC Helicon, and this video is all things looping with this guy, Voice Life 3 and Voice Life 3 Extreme. So, this video is for you if you use Voice Life 3 or Voice Life 3 Extreme right now and you're using it for looping or would like to use it for looping and you want to learn more about how to use it. There's a lot of things in this looper and there's a lot of little tricks that you can, uh, that if you learn them, you're going to be able to get more out of it and you're probably going to find out ways to really optimize the looper for the songs that you're performing. Also, if you are a person that is thinking about getting a TC Helicon Voice Life 3 or Voice Life 3 Extreme, I guess you'd have to get that one because because they don't make the Voice Life 3 anymore. Then you want to see this because you're going to learn about how the looper works. I must say, I don't think it's going to be that short because there's a lot of stuff in this looper. And I want to cover everything. And I'm going to try to cover all the little tricks because there's a lot of little little finicky little things that you... If you if you knew how to do these things, you're going to be a lot more efficient and faster in doing things with your looper. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is just the basic way that Voice Live 3 works. So, there's a... This is the voice layer because it's blue here. That's the guitar layer because it's red. And now the foot switch has changed the function. So this is all voice stuff and this is all guitar stuff. And if I hold this button, boom, I go to the loop page. So the loop layer here, the basic way that this works is if I push this record button, there, so now it's recording. And now, at, once it's recording, I can select, after I'm, when I'm recording the first loop, I can select, do I want to push set and play the loop? So it'll set the loop of the, the length of the loop and start playing it. Or do I want to set it and start overdubbing immediately? Or do I want to set it and stop the loop? So I can do that. And I don't have to, it, that's always there. You always get the options to do that. So if I push record B, there. So now it's recording. So I just stop. So. Now I can I can set and play B, set and overdub B, or I can set and stop B. There, so now it's recording. There, I'm gonna just stop everything. I'm gonna erase this. So that's one of the first cool things about it. So on the um, there are four different sync modes in Voice Live 3. Smart mode, which I think is the coolest, is the one that allows you to make loops really fast because what you do is you create if I record rec if I create a loop in A loop B will be multiple lengths of A so I can make quickly make a rhythm track in A and then B can be multiple lengths of that so I'll show you how that works Yeah, I mean, I'm not actually trying to be like brilliant musically here. I just want to show you how it works. So, one of the things people kind of complain about when they see people that are looping is they say, oh man, it takes so long for them to create the loops. By having this feature in this thing, you can make loops really quick because a lot of times what it is is somebody's, you know, playing a shaker over the entire verse of a song or, you know, that kind of stuff. This way you can create the, the rhythm really quick. And also, here's another thing. So that is, okay, so that's the smart Smart sync. I want to. I want to go through all the different syncs. Utility sync. If I go to free, free is kind of fun. Free doesn't. The loops just they're kind of random. They just kind of go where they want to go. I'm gonna record something in free. So now I'm record something in free. I'm just kind of going in free. Cool. And so now, now I'm record I'm something, something in free. And B. Just now going I'm gonna free. record something cool. in free and B. Now so now I'm gonna record something in free and B. Now I'm gonna record something in free and B. And now I'm gonna record something in free and B. Now I'm gonna record something in free and B. Now I'm gonna record something in free and B. Now, wow, that's that's actually really weird. I mean, very avant-garde art project kind of thing. So that's what free is. 
free I actually I actually do use free for something I do use free I use free for I do this kind of ethereal sort of thing on my guitar so I'll, I'll try to do it with my voice I don't know if I can do it with my voice but uh, that was useful maybe you didn't but that's just kind of a shtick that you can use the free mode for I'm gonna erase them all the next mode or sync yeah the next sync type is serial serial means that all the loops only play you can't have multiple loops playing at once so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve nine ten eleven twelve nine ten eleven twelve, 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 twelve nine ten eleven twelve nine ten eleven twelve one two three loop four, four a. one I push two the swap three button, four, four five six seven eight so and something you might have noticed here as well is that Right now I can play B but I can't play C the only way I can play C is if I play five, B and six, then push the seven, swap button eight, because you w this 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 button here, its utility when everything's stopped, it's not swap. But as soon as something's playing, nine, recording, 10, 11, 12, 5, it's 6, the swap 7, button. 8, and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. There. So in the last sync mode, I think I'm going to erase those loops first. So I should have I could have actually shown you that. So erase if I hit the utility button, go to erase, I can just press the erase button and I can select which loop I want to erase, or I can erase erase all, or I can just hold the erase button and it erases all. Yeah. Um so now we're gonna get into the quantize mode. Utility sync quantize. Requires metronome. Okay, great. So we can talk about metronomes and quantize at the same time. So if, if I hit, so this is the top level menu of the looper. This is where you start recording. If I hit the utility button, push the metronome button, I can select the metronome sound. There's a few different metronome sounds there. Or I can turn the metronome on. There. So now it's on. So now in quantize mode, I can actually record any loop I want, but it'll be quantized with the metronome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh There's yeah. There's a parameter here. Yeah, yeah. I have to, so it quantizes it to the loop, and if I, so that was in time with it, so I'm going to keep going on this because there's a parameter there. That I didn't know was on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh come on, yeah, come on, come yeah, on, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. 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 Oh, That's cool. Um, so that is the quantized mode. Loops can be any length that you want, but they're going to be quantized. So I'm going to erase the loops again here. Hold the button, erases. So now this metronome button. I can push the metronome button, and then I can turn the metronome on to get the metronome started. I can turn it off there. Or if I just hold the metronome button, it will come on. So those are the ways you can start the metronome. Now, um, one of the tricky things with this is that if, okay, so there's a parameter here I want to show you. Metronome follows playback. So what are, how, how did I get there? I push the looper button, 
and I went under the loop slot tab here, metronome follows playback. If that is off, and I go metronome here, I can have metronome mute. Now, notice how that didn't work. The loop is not set very well. It doesn't loop very good. And that's because, that's because the metronome is muted. If it was off, it would ignore, it wouldn't be trying to quantize to the metronome, but because it's muted, it's quantizing to the metronome even though you can't hear it. So you have to make sure, if you don't want a metronome, make sure under the metronome page, you have the metronome off. That's what you want. So I am actually going to erase the loop, erase all, utility, and I'm going to save it with metronome off. Mind you, it's saved with quantize mode. I actually like my favorite mode is smart. So I want to save it with smart mode. There, now I saved it. See? So this is, that's how you save a loop slot. You have to go to the utility page on the loop, the utility menu in the loop page, and you have to hit save. See, there's no changes. That's cool. So I think I've done everything. Oh, there's one other thing that I have to do from, from the foot switches, the input. So you can select that you want a guitar, the guitar input for looping, voice and guitar, all these different things, or the auxiliary input, which is cool. So you can have a keyboard going to the auxiliary input. You could have like drum machines or something like that. People use lots of different things. So the reason that this is great, one of the things that's great about Voice Live 3 is that we have four outputs. So the two XLR outputs, you can have one output to be voice, processed voice, and processed guitar. Or you can have the two, two outputs for both voice and guitar. So you can have voice on the stereo voice in the XLRs, stereo outs on the quarter inch for the guitar. And then when you loop, the voice just, the looped voice just goes in the voice output and the loop guitar just goes in the guitar output. So when you're recording a loop, you're actually recording four tracks, two voice tracks and two guitar tracks. So that's the input. So let's just say input, voice and guitar, great. Back, I'm going to actually just save it. So that's done. Now if I go to the looper, if I push that looper button, loop slot. So everything that's in this loop slot thing, I, if I change something here, I have to go back to here and I have to save it. Okay? Because if I hit store, store here, that's just going to save a preset. So I want metronome falls, please. I want to turn that back on. But anyway, let's get back to this. So it says what the current slot is. Mix to mix looper to natural play. What that does is if you record, if you've got your guitar, chords from your guitar in the looper, those chords playing back, when the loop's playing back, it'll use those chords to make the chordal information, to make your harmonies work right. Because you actually need to know musical stuff to make the, the harmonies work. Um, auto met on, I'll show you what that is. And it's kind of um, auto met on here. If I go here, I don't have to hold the metronome to get the metronome to start. I just touch it and it goes on. Now, I would actually recommend that you don't have that set to automat on because if you want to change the loop sound or something like that, as soon as you touch that button, as soon as you touch that button, you're going to hear the, it, if you want to change the metronome sound, I mean, as soon as you touch that button, you're going to hear the metronome even though you just want to change the sound. So if you have it off, then when you, all you have to do is go, you can just tap the metronome, you can change the sound or do whatever you want to change here, but you can hold it to make it come on. And I think that's I think that's pretty good. So like I said, I would actually recommend that you keep that off. I have actually found that it's gotten to me into trouble before. Auto met mute. So I need to tell you about this because I actually I we kinda it kinda hit me when I was working when I was showing you how to do looping in quantize mode, because that was already on. So what that does is when you so I have to uh, if I go if I turn the mat on now when I record a loop and I set now it, when I record a loop the metronome goes away. I, That's so if you just want a metronome to get your loops to get a tight loop to start off with, metronome auto mat mute, 
then you can have you turn that on and it'll automatically mute the metronome after your first loop so what some people do is you can turn you can have the metronome only come out the headphone output on voice live 3 so that way you can hear the metronome when you're laying down the loop but the audience doesn't hear it but that way you get really tight loops so I usually leave that off because I if I don't have a metronome I actually like to create loops without hearing a metronome so I usually have that set off so automat on is off that's off I'm actually gonna go here and I'm going to erase the loop and I'm going to save this the loop slot like this because this is the way I like it so next thing auto OW decay if I set this to a lower let's say I set it to like 50 58 percent this is this lets you do what the original loopers did the loop original looping artists they would use tape and it would always be decaying oh yeah oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah. I think you might get the idea. It wasn't very good, but I think you get the idea. So I turn that back up. But yeah, it's a very creative. You can do some really creative things with that. Uh, next thing, overdub, Q overdub. If you have that on, then when you hit the, if you have a loop down, and you're listening to it, it's playing, and you hit overdub. It won't start overdubbing until the loop, the loop boundary. So it's just, it's almost like you're setting queuing up looping queuing up overdubbing until it gets to the loop boundary. So that's what that's for. Uh, metronome follows playback. I kind of showed you that, but I'm going to show you that again. So here we go. Let's... Uh, 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 I think I'm going to do something different. Uh, let's erase that loop. So here, let's do... Uh, Oh, I'm recording a loop now. Oh, I'm record. So when I stop it, the metronome stops. Oh, um, there. Stops oh, and starts. Um, oh, 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 oh. So, a couple of things. You need to know that if you went into this product and went to the MIDI page in the setup and turned MIDI tempo on for some reason, because let's just say maybe. Maybe you were using it with a MIDI rig and you wanted to have MIDI sync with your looper. And it's great. That's awesome. Makes your all your tempos and your presets are in sync with everything. That's great. But if you don't want to use MIDI tempo, you got to make sure you turn this off. Because if it's on, even if you don't have MIDI even hooked up to it, watch what happens. Okay, so I'm going to try to start my loop. Oh, um, record. Oh, um, what? Oh, um, you know, it's not, oh, um, it's not, start, not oh, starting on time. Oh, and that's because that parameter's on. You need to make sure it's off. It would actually sound great if you were with MIDI and you were hearing these drums and stuff like that. You'd actually hit the start at the right time and the kick drum would come in right. In fact, if you hit it off, you wouldn't want the kick drum to come on because it wouldn't be in time. So turn MIDI tempo off. Cool. So now, oh, um, so that's great. So that works. Here we go. Erase it. Fine. Where was I? Met follows playback. Overdub. Q overdub. Audio cue. Okay. What that is, is when I have this on, I go to here. If I push record, it'll just arm the recording and it won't start recording until it gets a signal. Don't. K. Okay. Come on. Let's dance. Yeah. Hey. Let's. Don't. K. Okay. Come on. Let's dance. Yeah. Hey. Let's. Don't. Okay. Yeah. And if I have it set to first loop, then it will start recording the first loop with it. If I hit always, then it will actually wait for audio to record any loop. I want to try that out here. Here we go. Let's try this. So, don't K, come on, let's dance. Yeah, hey, let's don't K, come on, let's dance. Yeah, hey, let's don't K, come on, let's dance. Yeah, hey, let's don't K. Yeah. So that's cool. And thing you have to remember is that this all this stuff 
get stored in the loop slot. So if I turn this off or on or whatever, and I go, but I, if I go store, store, it won't save it. I have to go here, and I have to go, actually, I want to erase these loops. I don't want any of those loops recorded. Also, I like saving it with metronome off. And then I got to save it. There we go. So now I've saved the loop slot with the parameters that I like. So those are all the parameters I like. Now, the next thing is under the looper button is the preset. So there's this load looper slot, a looper load slot. So what that means is that when you go to the preset, it will load this loop slot. So if I turn this off, then that means it won't. So whatever loop slot the product was had, the current loop slot, it would just stay that when I changed to that preset. So a few things about this. So if I so this I, it was saved, it had 32. So if I go here, let's just go. So this one, see this one has a different loop slot. This loop slot this has loop slot 19. Yeah, so that has loop slot 19. If I go to this one, it has loop slot 32. If I look at this, see loop slot 32. There's no Audi there, but it's loop slot 32. Anyway, that's that's just what that does. Um, there's a few weird things with this. So if you, if you have a loop slot, if you want to load a loop slot, but you want that loop slot to be empty, you want to have want to load a loop slot, but you want that loop slot to be empty, and you need that loop slot to be a certain tempo. So here, if I go metronome, so I want it to be tempo 101. It actually gets tricky, but what you need to do put metronome on mute here. If you want to do that, if you want to save a loop slot, if you want to have a loop, load a loop slot with a preset and you want it a certain tempo, then you need to, you need to do all these things. So I set the tempo that I like. Now I need to ah, ah. just recorded audio. It's weird. Even though I don't want that audio, I need to save it with that audio. And then I need to push store, store to save the preset. So now the preset has got the, the tempo. The loop slot has the tempo with audio. Then I need to go to another preset that loads a loop slot like this one. Or I think I think I could actually change loop slots in the product. And then I go back to the preset here. Here we are again. Ah. Audio's there. Now I... Erase the audio, then save the loop slot again. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But this is what you have to do to be for sure that it gets the tempo when you go to that preset. So here we go. So let's go home. What was the tempo? What was the tempo? Do you remember what it was? 101. Yes, it was 101. So that's what you have to do. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the video except loading loop slots. <clears throat> so here what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go metronome off back back. There's no audio there. It's all great. I'm gonna store it, save it. Metronome is turned off. There's no audio in it. We're gonna go here. We are going to go to loop import. And we're going to import some loops here. So let's import. I'll import um, this one, this one, this one, this one. So I guess I should tell you, I, pl I have a thumb drive plugged into this thing, and I had already stored these loop slots. I, I actually created loops in the product, and I stored them. So I can do that, and, and then and I use the loop export function to get them there. But you can also create loops in a DAW, and you just stick them on your thumb drive, um, I guess I can show you the, the directory structure, but the best thing to do is you first export a loop, and there will be a directory in your thumb drive. That I think it says VL3 loops or something like that. You stick the loops in there, and then they will show up here. See? I created some loops for a classic Brian Adams song, Summer of 69. 
and they're there. And I don't want to import those because they're really long. It takes too long to import. So if I hold this button now, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I want to cancel because I want to import these into 32 because that's the. Uh, That is the loop we're dealing with here. There. Everything is going in 32. Here we go. OK. Looping is finished. Awesome. So here. See here? Loop trigger A. Current slot is track A. And loop trigger B is is current slot track A and B. So I can in here, I can set this to, I can make it, I can just make it B, or I can make it A and C. I'll make it just B, okay? Cool. And if I go store, store, then in that preset, this is what the loop triggers do. So, Great. Now, if I go here, so what happens is I can go under the vocal tab, because on the vocal page here, the vocal tab there, or the vocal, editing vocal, I can do the bat map. So I can select these foot switches to do something. They don't just have to do this micromod delay reverb thing. You can assign them to do whatever you want. Those are just the default when you buy the product. So I'm going to set this to loop, loop trigger A. Store, store. Great. Now, if I hit this. Yep. And I do this A and B. Cool. So, I know what that is. Now, one of the things that we need to do with that to make it sound right, I need to go metronome on. It's metronome mute. Oh, I need to go. Oh, I'll bet you I didn't say it. Metronome follows playback. It's to be on. I forgot to do that. So, I'm going to go. So let's try this again. Yeah, now that now we're talking. That sounds like something. There we go. So that's it. I I think I've told you everything that I know about looping on this product and some of the weird things and some of the goofy things, but all good things. So this is David Hilderman signing off. I hope that you learned a lot of stuff about looping with your Voice Live 3, Voice Live 3 Extreme. And if you have any questions or comments, you know, stick, in them, stick them in the comments section and I'll, I'll try to answer everything that I can. And if you have any other ideas for videos, if there's anything that you need to really deep dive into in your Voice Live 3, Voice Live 3 Extreme, or any other TC Helicon product, stick them in the comments and I will, I'll try to get back and I'll try to make I'll try to make videos that, that deal with those things. So uh, have an awesome day. Take care. Bye.